I found myself saying something or trying to say something or and, and then, then I realized that the word didn't even fit in that I said or something like that. So I just kept, you know, thinking about it and it didn't happen every day. It didn't happen, you know, hardly at all. And then it just kept getting a little bit worse and a little bit worse. I think some of the family members thought something was off, I guess. Um, did any of them think dementia? Probably not. When you used to doing things and doing it right and doing it and you know and all, all of a sudden you know you you can't remember this and you can't rem you know what is your name and you know it's it's like a dark area it's just like being in darkness you know and I think everybody that with this disease um, people walk away from them. They're afraid they're gonna catch it, like measles or mumps. Um, and that bothers me that they do that. I have to be aware that any moment, my brain might not tell me where to go. My first reaction was that um, I'm gonna beat this disease. I can't spell anything like I used to be able to just spell, you know, you just write a check. Now I have, I'm not clear what, what the thing is, how you do it or anything. All that stuff that I thought I was so good at is gone or on the way gone. Remembering names, I think that's the biggest issue with me. People sometimes would kind of look at you kind of strange uh, because I, I'm not saying what they want me to say or, or, or talk the way they want me to talk. When I started putting my shirts on backwards, that was one of my um, early signs too. Walking, that's why I have a cane now, and uh, because I have a tendency to rock sideways. And I don't want to trip or fall. Darkness is not good for me, and I tend to trip or fall. and. Um, my coordination isn't as it used to be. Oh, I don't cook anymore either because when I cook, and it doesn't matter if someone's in the house or not, I just start cooking and I forget about um, using, well, what do you use when you cook? What? The stove. The stove. I forget every time to either to turn it off every time I've cooked, no matter who's there. Right now, like, I, I'm, I'm doing really good because I have someone that takes care of me really good, you know. Be active in the community still. Go to yoga, do things like that. Don't do it so well, but that's okay. <laughs> Staying active, even a little bit active, keeps you interested. And I like to be around people. When people would um, struggle, I'd go over and help them. And um, I found it very uplifting to help other people. You know, you can't deny this disease. If you deny it, you're going to get in trouble. The singing is very, very good to the brain. We know that. And um, the more we can do that, the better off we'll be. People that have dementia, I think, are very unique. And I think they have a lot to offer still. It's an attitude here. You have to get up in the morning and say, okay, I got to do this today. Even if it's just one thing. I can say to a person that it's going to be all right. And I can say to a person that depend on God. Because with God, everything is possible. I'm not ashamed of it. And nobody should be. I mean, I had cancer. Was I ashamed of having cancer? No. Why would I be? You know? Why, why should I be ashamed of having dementia?
I've lasted 14 years with this disease. It's not going to go away. I accept that. Um, only thing I guess with my future is that I'll work as hard as I can to stay alive and function.